already sneaker on. But are we still looking at like a vaginal birth? Depends on what baby size is. That's why I get one right at delivery. Yeah. Just to see what's going on. Because if I get one now, it's not really going to... It's go time. It's not go time. It's not go time. He's lying. Hello? Hi, this is Rachel from Dealer Services. Fuck off, Rachel. Oh, what's up, guys? So we are on our way out to the, um, what's it called? The doctor's office. We're going to see our OB for um, our 37 week. What do you call it? Checkup? Check out? <laughs> Inspection? All right. So my OB actually scheduled my original appointment for whenever I was 38 weeks. But the thing is, is that this entire time I have been breach. Now we got a surprise phone call letting us know that they actually wanted to see us a week in advance. I don't know if something has now come up. I don't know if they are now um, a little bit curious or possibly concerned about the baby because they've been trying to like make me feel more comfortable with it. Um, and saying, oh yeah, she'll turn, she'll turn. Well, she still hasn't turned, or at least as of right now, we know that she has not turned. Yeah. So, we're on our way now to the, uh, to the OB office, and we're trying to figure out if she has, in fact, gotten into labor-ready position. Okay. What could possibly end up happening is that she is still breached, and they scheduled me for a C-section, which is not not ideal. It's definitely not something that we uh, we want. Anything could happen. They could literally be like, "We got to get her out now." <laughs> <laughs> so we put the bags in the car because we don't know what's going to happen. So I'm nervous. Dalton's very nervous. I'm very nervous. Um, I really don't. I tend to not deal with my nerves very well. It wasn't a very well put together sentence, um, but you get the point. He's a little shooken up. He doesn't know how to handle himself properly. Uh, before we go to the OB's office, Starbucks. Starbucks! Starbies! Do you know what you want? The caramel ribbon crunch frappuccino. That's a man's drink. Like I'm sure that that's exactly what they had in my mind. Yeah, What's like, the manliest drink that we can come up with? Carmen Ribble Crunch Frappuccino. Carmen ri Ribble? Carmel? You said Carmen <laughs> Ribble. <laughs> and we have it on tape. <sighs> What's an Americano? Sounds like a female's drink. Americano is way more, I guess, manly. There's nothing manlier than a Carmel Ribbon Crunch Frappuccino. <laughs> I get two double smoked bacon and cheddars. Get a venti caramel ribbon crunch frappuccino. Can I also get a venti shaken blonde espresso? That usually comes with milk, right? But instead of the milk, can I can I swap that out with the sweet cream foam? No classic with two pumps of white mocha and a little bit of caramel drizzle around the cup. I just know that they hate me whenever I come. I hate you. But like, what can I say? I like what I like. <laughs> I like That's a, that was a mouthful of like. an order. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, you too. That is a man's drink right there. <laughs> that. There ain't nothing manlier than a you caramel ribbon crunch frappuccino. All right, so we got our Starbies, obviously. And next stop, buddy, what are you doing? Not paying attention. Next stop is the OB's office. Because we might be having a baby today. Ah! However, we might get some clarification on when we're gonna have this baby. Because they might they might still schedule us because good. of how big I am. We don't know how this is gonna go. That is so good. This slaps. Always does. Oh. So Friday, um, Jen was having some really bad contractions all day long. We almost thought we had to come in. Hopefully, hopefully, all those contractions was baby flipping. Yes, and hopefully, I'm at least a little bit dilated. I don't see how I could possibly not be at least a little bit. Yeah. Like, 
one centimeter because I can feel her down <laughs> there. More than likely, they're gonna check to see if I am dilated and if I'm effaced and in any way. Effaced means? It's like the softening of the cervix. Okay. Um, so like the more effaced you are, the more ready for labor you are. Mm -hmm. You wanna be extra soft. I know that the main concern right now is that I've been breech. The last time that they checked me, I was 34 weeks. So we'll see baby on the ultrasound, right? I would assume so. I mean, they don't have to show you, but she usually does. So we're excited to see her, see how she's doing. We might find out how big she is today, or at least like a estimate. All right, we're going in now. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Still fast as fuck, boy. Come get some. <laughs> I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. Am I going to be so upset whenever I see this video? Probably. You look like you're ready to pop, like, right now. I, that's what I'm saying. I know. That's why that lady was like, what are you do? When's that baby coming out? <laughs> oh. Boo. Stop, Jen, stop! Stop! John, I look like a manatee. I don't know what that is. Why don't you know you're sea animals? They're like the cows of the sea. Oh. You know what I'm talking about? No. Don't, I'm covering up the- Oh. Look at belly. I just look fat. I look huge. I mean, that's true, but... I'm gonna see the baby. Yeah. Let me see what little baby girl is. Baby girl, right? Remind me? Yeah. Girl. Oh, is she down? I believe we are, but we're crooked to the side. Yeah. We're right I'm here. constantly feeling her, like, on the inward part of my thigh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so then that means that when she's hitting me in my ribs, it must be her feet over here. Yeah. You see her little profile? Aww. Yeah. Aww. Sweet girl. Oh, so you see her face? Oh she's, like, straight. God. You see her oh. face? Oh. Oh, look at her. She looks chonky. Look at her hand. She looks chonky. Look at her. Oh my gosh. We can see her little nose. She's facing up and crooked to the side. Yeah, she, okay. oh, she is not in a comfortable she position She has her hands straight up. Oh. Look at those lips. I know. Look at that nose. Does That's your she, nose. That, yeah. She has your nose. Yeah, look at that Thank nose. God. <laughs> Thank God. How's her heart doing? Let's see. She's right there. Okay. Sweet girl. Yeah, she's oh. cute. Okay. Yeah, look, look, she's look at that saying, hand. Let's just get her out of me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she's like, yes. <laughs> look at her opening and closing her hand. Is that what she's doing? Yeah. So, is there a way for us to kind of figure out like how big that she is without? So I'll get an ultrasound when you come for labor. If I do it outside, sometimes insurances can charge you like 900 bucks. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, okay. And it takes forever to schedule you too, but okay. I'll do one when you come in for baby time. Okay. And that one they cover, look at that hand. <laughs> but we're not like, cause remember whenever I was 31 weeks and I came in and you were like, you're just looking at like four and a half pounds. Yeah. We're so, not, we're not I mean, still she, on track with that, right? She's big. I can tell you, Is she, I'm gonna measure your belly right now. But are we still looking at like a vaginal birth? Depends on what baby size is. That's why I get one right at delivery. Yeah. Just to see what's going on. Because if I get one now, it's not. Well, I don't have pants on. <laughs> We're having the baby early. Yeah. So there's that. Um, at least a week early, they're going to schedule me for an induction um, at 39 weeks. So two weeks from now. Yeah. Baby's a, baby's a wee bit big. <laughs> She's chonky. Yeah, she's a little chonky. Uh, I don't know if y'all saw her chunky cheeks in the video I got. She uh, looks like me. Yeah. She like looks you. just she like me. Uh, that's what I, I mean, but I like fat like me. <laughs> yeah, I think she looks just like you. <laughs> it was showing like this, yeah. like the, from this angle and you could clearly see it was my nose and she was like waving yeah. and everything like that. But yeah, so she's, she's not breech, 
she what did what did what was the word i don't know but she's cockeyed so yeah she's very cockeyed <laughs> so we gotta we gotta finagle her because right now she's more like this and she yeah. needs to be like this so she's been like hitting me in the leg which i had a feeling that that's <laughs> what was going on i was like what is why why am i feeling her tapping on my thigh oh also the, uh they said you were measuring 39 weeks right now yeah and we're only 37 weeks so yeah We'll see how big she She's is. She's a big girl. Uh, <laughs> we'll be getting another appointment next Thursday. Yes. And then... To see where I'm sitting at right then. And uh, What if it gets rushed then, too? It could be. Oh. <laughs> if she is... If you're more than a centimeter dilated next time... Oh, yeah. She's going to sweep me. You're going to do the sweep. So we could be having this baby next week. Oh. <laughs> Thank God. Uh, let's get your I pants can't. on, yeah? Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're just heading into Marshall's now. We got to look for one of those big, like, yoga ball type things, right? Uh -huh. So that way Jen can bounce on and do her little <laughs> pelvic twist like that and uh, move baby because yeah. she's sitting cockeyed. She's sitting cockeyed. Cockeyed. Can't remember the, the medical term. Me. So anyways, she's we're at Marshall's. About to go get this ball. <laughs> so we're about to bounce. Oh, my God. You're so <laughs> I'm not seeing anything. Target, yeah. So Marshalls did not have any of the exercise balls, so now we're waddling our way over to Target. That's right. Yeah, so they should have them there, and if Target fails, there's always Either Walmart. By like 45 minutes. Yeah. Bingo. Ball. We got the ball. We got uh, some newborn diapers. And what else we get? We got you a planner. Yeah. And some more prenatals. Just so, just so I can like remember that yeah. the baby's probably gonna be here next week. Yeah. So. <laughs> fastest pregnancy ever honestly ever oh god we gotta slow down you gotta slow down i gotta slow I'm, down i'm cruising this pregnancy has flown by literally fastest of all my pregnancies it feels like it was like just yesterday that i found out that i was pregnant and i was like calling krista and kaylee and telling them that I was pregnant and I'm like trying to figure out like should I should I wait to tell you until you get back or you know like all this stuff and I was like I cannot keep this a secret we're literally down to crunch time now like how did we get here I don't understand that was so fast I know so like next Thursday uh we're going back in and we're gonna get just do like basically the same thing we got checked today um and if Jen is more, or she's at least a centimeter dilated, she was saying, right? Yeah. Uh, she's mm -hmm. gonna do the, the sweep. Me. The sweep. She got the sweep with Annabelle. Yeah. And she ended up going into. I wait she to gave, labor that night. Yeah, she gave birth that, well, the next morning at like four in the morning. Yes. She did a sweep on me at around like 11 o'clock. I started having contractions um, at like 6 p.m. And then um, we got to the hospital at 10.30. And then they admitted me at midnight. And then I gave birth to her at 4 o'clock in the morning. So four hours after they had admitted me. Yeah, so we could literally be having this baby next week. And if we don't have it next week, the following Thursday is the... It's, it's for sure. It's for sure. That's our... Uh, her birthday party. Yeah. It's even written on her little card that they gave And us. that's if she doesn't decide that she's going to take matters into her own hands. Yeah. The latest is going to be August 5th. August 5th. That we're going to see a baby. And I give birth to my babes pretty fast. I am extremely overwhelmed with so many different emotions right now. Yeah. I'm super excited and nervous and scared and happy. She looks just like me. She does. And that's really exciting because my other two kids look like their dads. We're 37 weeks today. Uh, however, little Miss Thang is measuring at 39 weeks. Yeah. So that's probably what they were saying, seven to eight pounds. Yeah, but right Somewhere now between... she's right now she's measuring seven to eight pounds at 37 weeks. So she's she's measuring technically two weeks ahead. So she's measuring as a 39 week old baby. Uh, if we do make it to uh, August 5th, uh, she will be measuring, according to math and science, around 9, 10 pounds, 
which is yeah. deeply concerning. Um, my body type is not going to allow me to deliver a child of that size <laughs> because it can be potentially very dangerous for the baby and myself. So um, if that were the case, if the baby was actually that large, we would then have to um, transition to a, uh, what should we call it? A suicide section. Which is not what we want, which is why we're we're shooting for beforehand. Yeah. But she, she looking pretty thick right now. Yeah. She's a thick girl. Yeah, she's a real thick girl. Yeah. Uh, she's, she's got my cheeks and my nose. <laughs> she got some chunky cheeks. Yeah, she does. She's so fat. <laughs> This weekend is going to be consisting of a lot more nesting and cleaning. I'm just trying to get ready for next Thursday in anticipation that she might make her appearance into this world. The nesting that's going to happen this weekend is going to be so intense. It will be. So if she doesn't make her appearance into the world next week, for sure it will be the following, August 5th. If if I am dilated over a one, which I should be because I'm just under one right now. If I'm dilated over a one next Thursday and she sweeps me, like, that's it. Like, it's go time. We're going yeah. straight into labor. Uh, my OB said that she's sitting very, very low. Yeah, she said she can feel <laughs> body parts. <laughs> <laughs> that was the craziest part. Because yeah. I've been saying that I'm so scared that if she, like, stretches... A, a limb is gonna come out. Surprise, motherfucker! You know, and like obviously, whenever somebody hears something like that, Norwegian. But like, no, I'm being serious. She's literally <laughs> up there. She's like, yeah, I feel body parts. <laughs> <laughs> With this um, yoga ball, we got Jen gonna be sitting on it doing all her little pelvic twist exercises, right? Along with pushing her head closer to uh, the proper position for birth. This is gonna be one hell of a ride.